this is the 42F Champ. Now, again, we have history since new on this bike, but we found out some real interesting stuff that I was unaware of with missing pieces of the puzzle. So we're going to show you some interesting photos. This is the current state of the bike. Now, what's real interesting here is we have, obviously, original grips. These are pre-war Harley grips. They're not painted. Post-war, they were painted. This is impregnated rubber, which makes them pre-war. And they're so rare today, I had assumed that they had come with the bike new. But the picture I saw of the bike when the doctor bought it covered the grips and covered the tanks. So I could see the front end, and I could see the rear of the bike. So I could say the doctor got it with the spots and the horn, but I couldn't see nothing on the tank. So what we have here, I just talked to a man who found me from the YouTube who worked on this bike in 1984. So one of the things people were questioning me is about the original gas tanks, uh, uh, gas caps. And right there, you can distinctly see deep dish short nailed gas caps on this machine in 1984. So somebody at some point in time changed out those gas caps, which is what I thought all along. But what I didn't know is we have another photo here. Find the right one. Here's the bike in the back of the truck. The doctor said, here, take it home and get it running for me. And here we go, there's another picture. Let me see the other one here. There we go. Look at this. And we have, very distinctly, there's Indigo right there, bothering Kitty. You leave that Kitty alone, huh? Is this bike originally came with mushroom grips. So I asked him, I said, well, we didn't do too much. I had it a very long time, but I changed the grips. And, I said, and he told me he had pictures, so there, there's the confirmation. He changed the grips. And I said, where'd you get those grips from? They're really rare. He says, well, it's one company in Michigan, a bunch of new old stock stuff at the time. And I said, was it Antique Cycle Supply? He goes, yeah. And uh, of course, they're out of business now. The guys died. But years ago, when I was a kid, they did have a lot of new old stock stuff. So all that stuff has been eaten up through the years. It's gone now. So at the time, it was just how many you want to buy. We've got plenty of it, just like Dixie. But you can only tell us this motorcycle, look at the oil tank. This is the bike. So the doctor had taken off the horns and the spotlights. Somebody put them back on for me, so he doesn't remember doing that. And the original gas tank uh, caps, I assume, went whoever put the, the horn and the spotlights back on because he said the doctor couldn't wrench it all. Couldn't do a thing to it. Could not do a thing. And look how nice that bike was at that time in 84. It was still outstanding. So, um, we can definitely say I was correct. You know, nobody put early caps on just magically on this bike in 84. It's like, right, okay, I don't think so. No, no. The doctor would know. If somebody changed them, they would take them off. But he did change out the grips. And I asked him, why did he do that? And he says, well, there was something about the grips. They just smelled really bad like cat piss. I couldn't even stand in my house, so we had to change out the grips. That's what he says. I have no idea. I've never heard that mushroom grips before. But people do a lot of things, and they want to say they did or they forget they did or why they did it, who knows. So they may not have been even sticking to the handlebars anymore, I don't know, but I can definitely say the mushroom grips that I've seen, I've only seen a couple of them, don't stink. So at any rate, they got changed out. They had red mushroom grips. But those are original pre-war grips. And they, you know, 1984 to 2017 is a very long time very, very long time. It's 33 years now. So, 
Uh, it was lost on the road, as I thought, right about 10 years from when he got it. Because remember, the daughter said we got it in 72 or 73. I was 14. So I figured right about 10 years maximum. So I was pretty close in my guesstimate of what I thought the bike had been sitting for when we got it, just from the age of how long from the appearance of the bike. So I was pretty pretty dead nuts right on. But that's little to me is real interesting little tidbits. So another thing he you know which was questionable is why does it have later pads on the brake and the rocker clutch there. And sure enough he says, yeah we put on new new uh new pads because they were just completely worn out. So this was just standard, common, cheap pads. Everybody had them back in the day. Now, now people are lucky to even get these in the old shop. A lot of stuff was available coming out of the woodwork in the 70s and 80s that today you just can't get, can't get it at all. These were common machines then at the time. But you got to remember in 84 from 42, that bike was only 42 years old. Okay, so that's like finding a 1975, 76, in pristine original condition. Well, there's plenty of them. Same basic concept. I mean, they made more of them, but still, there's more people looking. But they're pretty easy to come by if you want to just go buy one. Same thing with the original paint knuckle. They were pretty easy to come by at that time. Then, not today. They're all gone, pretty much. So that's the news on Champ, and we'll see you guys later.